Are you ready to learn all about friends and make friend themed art with me? If you are, thumbs up! I'm so excited because you want to know something? You are my friend and I'm so happy that you're here learning with me. It makes my heart very full. Do you know any words that come to mind when you think of friends or friendship? There is buddy, you might call your friend your buddy, or they might be your friend. Often, we should be very kind to our friends. We are usually from, we usually have a connection, a connection with people who are our friends. That means that we usually have something that we both like. Maybe we both like art, or maybe you both like trains, or playing soccer. Maybe you both like unicorns, or you both like to play games, or play with each other. That's called a connection. Maybe you have a best friend, a friend that you trust, that's very kind, and you are kind to them, and that you play with a lot. That's called a best friend. Another word that comes to mind is play. It's always fun to play with our friends. And if we want to find new friends, it's a good idea to say, hi, do you want to play with me? Let's try that together. Hi, do you want to play with me? That's a great way to make new friends. I know, let's pretend that we're meeting a new person that we want to be friends with. We could give them a high five we can smile because smiling makes people excited so we can smile at them and we can say hi those are great ways to make a friend so let's pretend we're going to meet a friend first we're going to smile then we will say hi do you want to play with me and if they say yes, let's give them a high five because that is awesome and so fun. And then you can go play. Smile. Hi. Do you want to play? High five. Those are great ways to make a connection with a new person and make lots of different friends. All right, let's do our warm up. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in, ready to learn. Let's begin. Different hearts up here. Grab our pointing fingers and we're going to point and count at the same time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and one more. Six. There are six hearts. Six hearts. Five and one more make six. Good job. Let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to write the word friend and draw a friend. And then we're going to make a heart artwork. See you there. Let's draw a friend. Let's write the word friend with an F, R, I, E, N, T. Let's draw a curving line for the face. And 
here on each side. You can add some hair, any kind of hair you want. Two lines down for the neck. Curve across. And two lines down for the body. Add a nose and a circle on each side for the eyes. And then we can add a uh, color in the eyes, leave a little circle white. Add some eyebrows and a smile for the mouth because friends are friendly, kind, loving, and caring. Then you can go ahead and color in your friend using your choice of colors and art mediums. Just like that, your friend is done. Let's make a heart. We're gonna fold our paper in half. We're gonna press that fold and open. Now we can see that line in the middle. We're going to paint a half of a heart only on one side. So we're gonna start at that middle line and go up, over, and connect to just half a heart. And now you get to paint just that half with whatever colors you want. Yes, you get to add any colors you want and however you want. So if you wanna do blobs or dots or lines, then you can do that. It's your heart and you can make your heart the way you want. Maybe I should add some blue here and there. Let's do some magic. We're gonna fold it in half. And now let's rub, 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 rub. Ah, rub it all together. Whoosh, like that. Okay, ready? Now let's open it up. <gasps> wow, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Let's look at all those cool colors and how they smudge together. Wow. So cool. Has beautiful textures and the colors, they blend and smudge. Wow. So beautiful. Good job. Look at that beautiful heart. You can let it dry and you can either leave it like this. You can turn it into a card and write a nice message on to a family member or a friend. Or you can cut it out with some scissors and make a beautiful Valentine's Day artwork or decoration for your home or your bedroom. You did amazing. 
Good job! What a beautiful heart! Thumbs up to you! I love it! What a nice artwork to represent! description of the video. See you next time!